Hi everybody and welcome back to Lean English. I'm Ed and I'm here to help you achieve your pronunciation goals. In today's video I'm going to explain why you struggle to understand native speakers and what you need to do to understand fast speech. So let's take a look in a bit more detail. There are two reasons why you might find it difficult to understand native speakers either a lack of knowledge or a lack of practice. It goes without saying that if you don't have sufficient knowledge of English vocabulary and grammar, you won't understand the meaning of a phrase, even at slower speeds. However, even if you have sufficient knowledge, you may struggle to understand fast speech if you're not familiar with English pronunciation. This is because sounds are frequently added, removed and transformed when we speak quickly. For example, words may link together, making it difficult to separate them in phrases such as green apple, fried egg, bus stop, what time. Sounds may also be inserted and used to link words in phrases such as far away, no idea, try again. The t and d sounds may be removed from the end of words in phrases such as fast car, second hand, next door, diamond ring. The schwa sound may replace vowels in the weak form of function words such as und, but, f, t. The schwa sound may also be reduced and syllables compressed in very syllabic words such as rational, family, difference, memory. Two or more words may be contracted into one in phrases such as she's, they'll, gonna, shouldn't have. And some sounds may change under the influence of the sounds that precede or follow them, such as in woodja, getcha, didja, putcha. If you're already familiar with these features of pronunciation and you still find it difficult to understand fast speech, it's probably because you haven't practiced enough or you're not practicing correctly. So how should you practice? First, you should choose appropriate resources. You should avoid listening to dramatic series and films where the speech is often unclear or unnatural. Instead, I recommend you listen to radio, podcasts and documentaries. You should also listen to a variety of different people and accents. Second, you should listen actively. This means you react to any words or phrases you don't understand by repeating the audio at a slower speed if necessary. If you still don't understand a word or phrase, use subtitles or a transcript if available and check the meaning and pronunciation in a dictionary. Third, increase the difficulty as you improve. If the content becomes too easy, find something more challenging or increase the speed of the audio. This way you'll find it easy when you listen to people with more neutral pronunciation. Well, that's the end of the lesson, but let me know how you improve your listening skills in the comments below. And remember to like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.